My producer uh, wanted to know what I thought about uh, the movie Logan that came out. Now this is the final Wolverine performance for Hugh Jackman. He's done three Wolverine movies, something like four or five X-Men movies. It's what started his career and for the last 16 years he's been playing Wolverine. And this is the last time he'll ever be playing it. Well, okay, so Wolverine um, is now in the movie Logan. He's like super old. He's getting beaten down. He's not healing as fast anymore. And he has to take care of uh, uh, Professor X, who's now uh, going senile and um, losing his mind a little bit. And he's having these seizures. He's having to take care of basically um, almost like his grandpa, which is a, it's just a tough job to do. Because I don't know what your grandfather was like, but my grandfather, was uh, a guy who, much like President Xavier, was, was really brilliant. Like, he helped create radar, he built his own computers. But he wasn't really what you'd call a uh, kid person, as in he shouldn't have had kids, yet he had eight kids who then had uh, children of their own. And so one time, I was at his house, and uh, he was watching Nova. And interestingly enough, in that episode of Nova, much like Professor X, they were talking about the possibility of uh, psychic powers. and. Uh, he asked me to turn up the volume, so I walked over the TV to turn up the volume, and uh, when I walked away from the TV, I couldn't pull myself away because there was a five-inch fish hook that had gone through my toe. Yeah, he'd had a fish hook just sitting in his carpet, like, forever. So now I'm trapped to the carpet with a fish hook coming out of my toe, and he just keeps saying, hey, move your head, I'm trying to watch Nova. Wolverine dealing with Professor X really made me uh, uh, think of that. But also, Logan has uh, a young girl with him who is just like him, but has the opportunity to be uh, a better person. Um, and so very much like uh, me looking at my grandfather with a huge fish hook in my toe, I, I committed myself to that moment at nine years old to be a better person than my grandfather. So seriously, 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 I absolutely uh, loved Logan. It is the best of uh, all the Wolverine films. But to be fair, that was a pretty low bar. Uh, so that the fact the film made sense the whole way through is pretty darn fantastic. Did I like the last Wolverine movie before Logan? No, I didn't, um, because here's the deal with that movie, right? So. There is a mini-series called Wolverine that that movie was supposed to be based on, and all they literally needed to do, they could have uh, totally uh, watchmanned it and just taken it panel for panel because it's a great mini-series in the comic book form where Logan goes to Japan, tries to get this girl. Her dad's like, uh, no, you're a filthy animal. I don't want you with my daughter. And uh, Wolverine says, no, no, I, I think I'm pretty great. And the dad goes, well, then fight me, right? And uh, he's such a great martial artist. He beats the shit out of Wolverine. <laughs> To the point Wolverine goes into a berserker rage and the dad's like, yeah, see, look, he's a filthy animal. And uh, the daughter is like, yeah, I guess he is a filthy animal. And uh, the, the Wolverine still wants to go out with that girl <laughs> afterwards. Like, cause I think if someone was like, hey, you know, I agree with my dad, you are a filthy animal. I, I'd be like, yeah, you know what? You and your dad can uh, go fuck yourself. Uh, but here's the thing is uh, anyway, he goes through, uh, Japan regains his honor and eventually uh, wins her back. But I wonder what those uh, conversations 10 years from now are like when they're hanging out, where like when she's, she's like, hey, you know, I, um, I really could have used it if uh, you made the bed today. And he looks at her and just like, hey, you once called me a filthy animal in front of everybody. Your crime lord dad, all the ninjas around him. Like that, that, those are wounds. There's certain things you can say in a marriage uh, and in a relationship that just, just absolutely, uh, absolutely will never, ever go away. I don't care what your healing factor is. They definitely uh, will not heal. So anyway, if uh, you like this as much as I like Logan, go ahead and click the subscribe button. We run on your questions and comments, so please email me at offtopicwithpeter at gmail.com or reach out to us on our Facebook page.